Hey guys, this is Axel, and I'm bringing you my first tutorial video. I'm going to teach you all how to install a mod loader on the Macintosh. Let's first start off by uh, opening your Minecraft because I'm not sure if you have any broken jar or anything like that. And we'll go ahead and give yourself a force update, which will go ahead and wipe your jar file to something better or what it originally was. After that's finished, and who cares about that right now? Um, we want to go to the minecraftforum.net and we want to go find Regan VC's mods uh, full, uh, thread and we want to scroll down and we want to download mod loader. Mod loader is the base thing behind of installing all mods and that's something that we need. We can, down we can click download with adfly or direct. I've clicked the adfly thing so many times and the direct so many times it's not even funny. Of course I already have it so I don't need to download it again. Next thing that we need is the unarchiver for the Mac. And you need to download it. It will be allowing you to unzip your jar file, which will then we'll be able to put our necessary files inside the Minecraft.jar. I've already downloaded it as well, so both links will be in the description. Next thing you'll need to do is quit out your Minecraft game, because this will break it if you don't. All right, now that you've got your mod loader, we want to open it up and go ahead and get this folder over there ready for us and we want to open a finder window and we want to click go at the top and we want to go go to folder we want to click uh, type this in except right here when I have uh, my username and right there put in your username instead and we'll go here and we'll scroll down and your minecraft folder should be right there name labeled minecraft We'll go into it and we'll go into our bin folder and there's our minecraft.jar. Well, I don't want to open it with the unarchiver. Once that is done opening, you should get a folder with a bunch of dot class files and we want to open our mod loader folder and we want to take every file in the mod loader and put it in here. And we want to apply to all and we want to replace all of them. Next thing that we need to do is we need to delete meta inf, which is something that if we don't delete, it will actually not allow us to work the game. And here's my meta inf folder, and I'm just going to click move the trap. Now the next thing that we need to do is we need to click the first folder up there, and click the last file, and we need to compress them all. You'll get an archive.zip. We'll go ahead and move that to our desktop. And you can go back and you can delete this now. And you can delete your .jar file if you want to. But you don't have to. You can keep it as a backup if you need to. Go ahead and put the archive.zip in there. And we're going to rename it to minecraft.jar. And we are going to click yes to use .jar. That right there will allow us to use the .jar. And we're going to have to start Minecraft up. And you see it's working perfectly. And for proof, I had a few I had a mod installed already, which is Ray's Minimap. No. I love Ray's Minimap. Don't get me wrong. I think it's one of the best uh, mods out there. Well, one of the useful mods. Anyhow. That's it for my tutorial video today, guys. I'm glad that I could help you all out and comment and leave your info in the description what you think about the video. Glad to uh, be helping and making this tutorial video. Have a good day, guys.